pretty brown girl her space you can keep your better i'ma make a better Hey sugar food, welcome back to another video. As you can see, I've had a very productive morning. I actually had a photo shoot with a mod. First of all, today is whole Monday. I never do photo shoots on Monday. And y'all, I'm coming to y'all face beach, you know. You know, I'm I decided to go ahead and leave my face on because for so many times I've came to y'all just bare faced and ruggler. And um I decided to spice up our relationship a little bit. Come on with a little lip, you know what I'm saying? A little faded lip, <laughs> a little makeup, a little brow, you know what I'm saying? And I actually had my shades on today. I feel like real jazzy. These are Walmart shades. I don't know if they still have them, y'all. So I'm putting them on here on camera and I'm gonna have to check and see if they still have them just in case if y'all want this shape. But are they cute? Walmart is having shade shades. Like you don't even need designer no more. I'll do it one day. But I like you really don't have to have it to get like a little nice chic look. I think it got some gold in here somewhere. Oh, there you go. Is it over here? Did it come off? And, oh girl, it came off. See, this is why you need designer. <laughs> Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's my first time seeing that it has popped off. Where well, there goes that. Um, but yeah, I had a really good day. Had a photo shoot with a mob. We did a Walmart campaign and, and a couple of other outfits that came out really good. And I just really missed shooting with him because his photo quality is just, just top notch. And I actually, the other photographer I was using, Megan, she's awesome as well. She has really good, I really love her lens and her camera and she's so encouraging when I am shooting with her. She's like, yes girl, love it. <laughs> I think that is so cute. And I just, re I really like shooting with her as well. So she's more on the north side. Ahmad is more um, if you need to shoot on the south side because he lives more toward that way and then Megan lives more toward the north side. So since I'm on the north side, sometimes I would use Megan, especially since Ahmad and Shay be out here vacationing, vacationing. Like they got three kids and they vacation like the kids ain't here. It's just, <laughs> I want to be them when I grow up, you know? So I love that their family gets to enjoy that time. Um, so I think that's really cute and special, but I finally got a chance to shoot with a mod this morning and I had, huh, so, okay, here's the thing. <laughs> Last Friday, I was supposed to go to the nail shop and get my nails done. I usually have a standing appointment with them like every three weeks with Gloss Nail Bar. You guys know I talked about me going to Gloss Nail Bar before. And girl, I just, I don't know what was in my spirit, but the spirit was let's not leave the house. And I didn't. So I just literally, was in the house all day watching movies. I haven't had a day like that in a long time to just sit up, do absolutely nothing, and watch the movies I wanted to watch. It took me away, I say absolutely nothing. I cooked, uh, I cooked a Blue Apron meal, like my last Blue Apron meal, because I'm gonna get a break from that. And then, um, I did something else, girl, I don't remember. But it was all in the house related. It wasn't nothing about stepping foot out the house. So I did that, uh, but I enjoyed that day. So, but then the next day I was like, oh, I need my nails done. <laughs> I had this, this finger was off. So I just went and got this like a uh, square tip, kind of neutral, clean looking kind of a uh, look. It's just the acrylic that they use. I didn't get any polish or anything like that. I just got it shiny. Um, and square this time, cause you know, uh, Natalie is good with the almond, but I got square this time cause we get ready to go on vacation. The next time I get my nails done is gonna be for the vacation. Speaking of, I have yet to book my hair appointment and I don't believe in doing hair on, on vacation. If I gotta do my hair on vacation, it's not a vacation, it's a weekend. So um, I need <laughs> to get that booked and yeah. So yeah, basically all that to say, Ended up needing to, I've been trying to get into their salon because Gloss Nail Bar operates on appointment. You can walk in if you want to, but you're more likely than not to not be seen if you walk in. Though that's not the Gloss Nail Bar at that kind of salon. Like they operate on appointment. So I was just calling for the next two days, trying to get an appointment in the midst of like my plans for the weekend. And girl, we just pushed it to Monday. <laughs> we pushed it to Monday after the shoot. So I had a two o'clock with Natalie at Gloss Nail Bar. And then um, I was able to just kind of chill at Panera Bread. Now my girl, uh, Akita, told me about Panera Bread. So I was like, cause you know, usually when 
people, I say usually, this is just my thought. I don't, I don't know what everyone else thinks. But usually when I'm thinking, oh, let me go sit and work, it's either a, like a boutique kind of cafe or it's a Starbucks. I've never thought Panera Bread, um, ever. So when uh, I've been watching Akita's vlogs and she'll go and work at Panera Bread and I'm like, huh. That's very profound. I never thought to check them out. So I went to a Panera Bread uh, today, not too far from River Oaks um, on Gray Street. Yeah, Gloss Del Bar, I think is on Gray Street. It's on the same street. So anyway, I went there and it got a little three stories. I was like, fancy <laughs> library or whatnot. So it was a really nice location. So I really um, enjoyed kind of sitting there for a couple of hours, knocking out some emails, clearing out the inbox one because come in. I mean, the inbox wasn't crazy. I just don't like, I mean, I ain't gonna say I don't like. I'll just leave the week with maybe one or two emails in there because I'm just not going to respond to them right now. And then come back and it's like 50. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just the normal thing, you know, when you come back, but enjoyed my morning. I really did. I enjoyed my morning. I got my nails done, came back home. It was, of course, traffic because by then it was like, almost four o'clock and people just clocking out. When they clock out, honey, they clock out three. That's what I used to do. When I worked corporate, I was 358. Purse in arm, keys in hand, walking to door. So by the time four o'clock hit, I'm already on the elevator to the first floor, <laughs> to the garage, to my car. Cause when I get off at four, I get out at four, like the building. <laughs> So that's what I used to do when I worked downtown. That's how people in downtown uh, do. I don't know if it's like that in y'all city, but by, in Houston, baby, traffic ain't, I don't know. Comments if you have ever experienced Houston traffic. Honey, the traffic be trafficking. It is not cute. So people be rushing to the door. So like a lot of people come in extremely early because they wanna beat all that traffic. And it's just, it's just horrible. I used to come in at like six so I can get off at four. Was it four or 3.30? Or I would come in at 6.30 to get off at 3.30. How many hours? Yes, I would come in at 6.30 so I can get off at 3.30. I'm accountant. Come on, used to be an accountant for nine years and I'm still using fingers. When I handed in my resignation, honey, that, the mental stuff, I need to go back to that, like really calculating in my head. Girl, I'm so, so extra. And speaking of this top, I have one, I don't know if I showed you guys the outfit. I haven't. But this top is from Shein. And I actually like it because it feels it feels good and it actually hides my bra a lot. Mostly. Like when I have it placed in the right way, it, you can you're pretty hidden. I like that. I got this in black and in white. Um, but I am going to get more of these. I need like three more of these and four of the white ones. Three or more of the white ones actually. A total of four each. But yeah, girl, I don't really know what's gonna happen this evening. I'm just like kind of chilling. I got back onto social media, social media, like got back, got back, like posting consistently starting today. Um, and I have content for the next two weeks. So God is good. God is really good. I haven't scheduled out said content, but I got it. Like it's drafted. <laughs> I need to type the, you know, but girl, while I figure that out, we're gonna take a station identification break. Be back.
good morning. We are back to the Ashley that everybody knows with the top knot, no makeup, a little stud, looking real regular. So, I have to update you guys on the happenings of this morning. It is now 10.36. I just set up this little thing. You guys saw me, it's the little linen thing I got from at home. Y'all know I keep my purse close. You hear me? Got this little, it's not a diffuser. What is this thing called? I forgot what these things are called. Stick scent holders. That's what we're gonna call them. I got these stick scents from at home. The linen fragrance that I really like, which is this. I talked about it in the, oh, I don't know. I talked about it in the last um, home decor vlog that went out a while ago. But anyways, went to the gym this morning, came back. I just went through um, most of the emails that were in my inbox. Got a chance to kind of just chill a little bit. At this time, Maria, my um, housekeeper, should have been here, um, but we had to cancel because I received an email from Ahmad that he has tested positive for COVID. So I pray that him and his family are okay. They got kids, you know. I pray everybody is fine over there and, he, you know, he's feeling well. He hasn't emailed back or anything. I was, you know, asking if he had like really severe symptoms or anything like that, but he seemed fine yesterday. But you know, people could be dealing with stuff internally and just not really be verbalizing it. So I don't know. I've already went to the gym and by the time I came back, I saw that. So I pray, well, you know, I wasn't, this is totally different. Like I did invite someone into my house and everybody's breathing in the same air because somebody came sick. This is not that situation, but um, me and him were outside the entire time. He did touch my phone because we needed to get video shots. Um, I do sanitize pretty often, especially since I've been like when I'm out of the car or something like that and get back in, I have sanitizer in the door of my car that I just like pump, get in, wipe it. Yeah, but in preparation of my first vacation in God knows how long this has happened again. Remember last time um, this happened was when me and I think me and Justine were supposed to go to Austin like next week after that, or maybe week and a half after that. And we had to cancel because I got COVID. So here we are again, <laughs> just out here living, you know, learning from lessons, trying to do better. And you know, this is, it happens again. And I'm starting to feel like it's God not wanting me to travel. I just don't understand. <laughs> like what is happening? Or it could just, you know, I don't know. I'm always feeling like that there's there's not a coincidence in everything, you know. There's, there are no coincidences. I guess is that how, how that phrase goes. But anyways, yeah, girl. So we're here. Um, I'm not gonna get tested today. I'm actually gonna get tested today's Tuesday. I don't know if I said that. Uh, I was with Ahmad on Monday. So since I have called everyone that I have been in contact with and just let them know, it'd be abreast. Um, and by everyone, I mean the businesses really. I wasn't in contact outside of Amar with anyone individually, um, but like I went and got my nails done. I went to the gym this morning and I went to the front office of my neighborhood to like get some stuff settled. Yeah, I contacted those people to let them know. I don't know what the protocol is. A lot of them was just like, oh, okay, girl, cool. You know, except for Gloss Nail Bar because they are always so stacked on appointments. But now they have to tell a lady that probably has so many appointments today that one of her clients from yesterday possibly could or could not have COVID. I don't know. So she sounded a little like, okay, girl, well, whew, thanks for letting me know. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I hate to say it only because what if I don't have it? And then this lady missed out on some money today. I just really hate that um, if they make her sit out or she decides to sit. I don't know how that whole operation works. I didn't, you know, want to ask them like, does she not work all day or something because of this? So I will get tested too. I'm of course quarantining for three days to make sure I don't have any symptoms. I don't have any symptoms right now. Like I feel like a little, you know how when somebody's around you and they start sneezing and all of a sudden you, feel, <laughs> you start feeling weak. <laughs> it's not 
not funny. But it's funny because it's like, it's a mind thing. And we're like, oh my gosh, am I sick or whatever. But um, I feel a little something right here in my throat. But I felt that this like last night and this morning. But it's not, actually it's not in my throat. It's my tonsils. It just feels like I can feel it when I'm laying a certain way or when I'm touching it, I can feel it just like a little soreness, but my throat isn't sore. Like when I'm swallowing or something like that, I can't feel anything. Um, my nose been runny, but my nose been running for the past 10 years. I don't know, it's just like, you know, that's no different for me. Um, so outside of that, I actually feel really good energy wise today. I've been more tired the weeks prior to this week um, than today. So, you know, we'll see. Um, hopefully everything is fine. I've already prayed on it, I've already asked God. Please don't let me have it. The fourth is coming. We got brisket. I just, you know, I want to see my family every weekend. I got things to do. Nobody got time to be sick, you know. That's not to be insensitive to those that have lost family members to this. Trust me, I'm, I, I do not want to. With everything that happened in January with my family um, getting this, I am not, not sensitive to the um i am not not sensitive to y'all gonna take it out you know what i mean you know to this virus so i want to take it seriously I contact people because i want them to take it seriously all of that all the steez so vacation is in less than two weeks so if this happens again which i pray god that it doesn't we are either gonna have to push it back or cancel it all together once again another time for me to get out of houston and it's like Nope. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm not going to speak that in existence because I've already prayed on it. And I'm just praying everything is fine. And I'm praying that Ahmad and his family are fine because, you know, they have kids and thankfully the kids aren't in school right now. So, you know. Um, but yeah, girl, that's the update for today. I've actually just, um, I feel like I was supposed to say something else that I don't remember. That has been happening a lot lately. I'm only 32. This it just makes no sense. Why am I you would think I have 10 kids I walk in a room right and I'm like what did I come in here for standing there for about five minutes trying to figure out what the heck I walk in that room for I do it in the office all the time like I walk in the office to get something what the heck I come in here for <laughs> just oh gosh why is it starting so early just one of them days yeah so I'm drinking my warm tea y'all know I put silk milk in um my tea, you know, feel <laughs> makes me. I, I like. I don't know why I would say it makes me feel a little British, but I don't think they put cream or milk in their tea. But it do still make me feel British. <laughs> I was like, girl, let me just go ahead and take the precautions. Go ahead and drink some warm. Yeah, like, I really want to eat the brisket for. Uh, I mean, I mean, I know my family will probably bring me a plate, but I'm not gonna plan for me having something that I'm praying that I don't have. So we're just gonna nix that. That is what's on the mind this morning um, outside of just doing Tuesday work. I rarely, really, I kind of need to get in the habit of this, but I rarely vlog Monday through Tuesday, which I'm not sure. I know why, because I rarely have anything really going on. I'm like, they don't want to see me just being like, they don't, I need to be out doing the things in the town. No. I need to get used to like vlogging Monday through Thursday because one, it won't put so much pressure on the weekend. And then two, it's regular content, okay? And I'm all about regular content this season. Like not having to put on a show. You want a show, go to VH1. You know, you want a show, go to BET. You know, it's not, <laughs> it's not, I can't put that kind of pressure on myself because it doesn't allow me to serve you guys in the way that I want to or in the way that, um, God has allowed my life to be able to serve someone. You, know, you just never know how God's going to use you. So let me regulify some of this stuff. Um, so I just sorted through a lot of mail. Girl, when I tell y'all I get mail, I don't know why. It's just me. I don't know why I'm getting all this mail. Um, so I need to throw all of this in the trash. But the office is coming along good enough for me to actually sit in here and work. And that feels good. I've been reading Atomic Habits. And one thing that it talked about is... Um, creating space for you to do whatever it is for, for you to create better habits so one thing about me you know I like to be comfortable I like to lounge I like to like chill with family and just like I love TV 
I wish I didn't like it as much as I do, but I do. Um, and I just like to just be, you know, chill. That's what my entire house feels like. Being and chilling. Productivity was not thought about when I <laughs> created any of the spaces outside of this office. So I'm I'm doing like once I got to that chapter in Atomic Habits and I was like, oh, it, it talked about creating space and how being in a certain space will help you or a certain environment will help you with better habits. So I was like, well, let me, thankfully I was already working on the office. I was like, okay, well that gave me even more motivation to kind of really solidify this office so I can have a place to come and be creative. This, uh, this doesn't need to be a lounge spot. So everything purchased, it helps with creativity. Like it creates a open, bright space that allows me to be creative. If I want to lounge, I'm gonna go to the living room. If I want to lounge, I'm gonna go to my bedroom. Like those are the perfect spots for me to get loungy and sleepy. Like <laughs> faux, faux, like faux fur rugs, faux fireplace, big uh, cushiony uh, couches and chairs, double chairs, you know, deep seated front. Like none of that screams. Do your work. None of that screams. <laughs> so I needed to have a space um, that brings creativity and the office is coming along. I have three boxes that I still have not unpacked. I don't know why, girl. There's not much in them. I just haven't done it. But, you know, my head and not my heart. But I will do those this week. I will do those this week. They're not much. A couple of them have like some containers that are for organization. And then I've been talking to y'all way too long. Okay. Yeah. So that's all. That's all, girl. Um, I'll connect with you and I have something else to say. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys. It is a brand new day since I've last chatted with you. And I am going to try the at-home COVID test. I actually already ordered some dinner. What's today? Today's Wednesday. Yeah. I actually already ordered some dinner. So it is on the way. I've been quarantining um, for the last 48, well... I say for the last 48 hours, but ever since I've, ever since Ahmad told me, I've been at the house. So I decided to wait until today. Again, I um, did my shoot with him on Monday at 10 a.m. It is now Wednesday at 5.25. So it has been over 48 hours. Um, I didn't read the directions till today. So hopefully everything turns out right. Um, I forgot that we had these at home COVID tests. So I'm going to try, I'm going to read the directions and try this out. <sighs> See how it goes. Um, first, let me wash my hands. Hold on. <sighs> Y'all, this stuff makes me a little nervous because <laughs> I'm just like, I hope I follow the directions properly. <laughs> Let's pray that I get this right. <laughs> oh my gosh. First of all, the pamphlet. Okay, what you say to do first? Okay, wash my hands. Your box contains these things. Do not touch your part inside. Handle card, only by the edges. Remove test card from pouch. Make sure the blue control line on the result. Okay. But do not use a card if it is not. Okay. Alrighty. One step at a time, Ashley. You're all right. Who would think a 32 year old be nervous? Okay. About following directions. <laughs> I let you know what kind of kid I was. Okay. Ooh, okay. That's there. Okay. Car must stay flat on the table for the entire test. Okay. Bam. Cool. Period. Um, remove. Dropper bottle cap, hold dropper bottle straight over top hole. Oh my gosh, I'm already on step four. Okay, open swab pack at the stick end, take swab out. Here is the swab, here is the stick in. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. Swab both nostrils carefully as shown. Insert the entire soft tip of the swab into a nostril using half to three fourths an inch. Girl, who measures stuff like that? I don't know what that, 
Each nostril must be swabbed for about 15 seconds using the same swab repeat. Step five in your other nostril. I'm trying to like, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, open your mouth. Oh shoot, I touched my lip. Insert swab tip into lower hole. Firmly push the swab tip from the lower hole into, until it is visible in the top hole. Do not remove the swab from the card. Okay. Okay. Leave, oops, leave the swab in the card for the remainder of the test. Okay. Two, three. It's weird. Turn. Swab to the right three times to mix the swab with the drops. Cl okay. Close the left side of the card over swab. Press firmly on the two sides on the right edge of the card to seal. Keep card face up on table. Okay. Whew. Girl. Okay, um, do not move or touch card or touch the card during this time. Oh Lord, I'm touching. <laughs> I'm touching the outside though. <laughs> okay, it says read. Okay, read the results in 15 minutes. Do not read the results before 15 minutes or after 30 or after 30 minutes. Okay. Okay, so I have to wait 15 minutes while it's doing its thing. I think I'm still gonna go to a center to, well, I'll talk about that after 15 minutes. Let me set my timer on my phone. All right, timer is set for 15 minutes. I will be back when this goes off. Oh my gosh, things are happening. Okay, I gotta go. <laughs> okay guys, we got favorable favorable results when there's like when this control line is pink and there is no there's no line underneath it no second line that would be the positive this would be the negative oh, I'm still ah. oh Jesus thank you Lord like I felt like I was negative when I woke up this morning I was like I didn't have no sore throat I wasn't feeling no type of way the first time I had COVID um I felt it 24 hours later I know every um every virus isn't the same there's different kind of variants out there but um i know the one i had honey it hit me quick like the next before the next day was even full 24 hours i was like oh my gosh what is that feeling like we're fine and i was talking to my mom the other day after um after finding out I was telling her, you know how you feel like you're just, you. somebody tells you that they're sick and they had the flu and all of this and you've been around them and you didn't know, but all of a sudden you start feeling like woozy. Girl, I was feeling woozy yesterday, but it was like all in here. I was feeling like, oh my gosh, after I ate, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm hot and clammy. What's happening? Oh my goodness, what's, what's going on? And then I was like, oh my, my heart is beating hard. I didn't eat that much. What's happening? Oh my gosh, like, girl, about to freak myself out. <laughs> but negative test today so thank you god i will go and get another test tomorrow to make sure at a professional uh, facility it's like down the street for me so i'll go there tomorrow just to be on the safe safe and i'll text the girls tomorrow and let them know the scare that i had because this is not okay like the whole trip remember the last trip we had to cancel because of cotton picking covid and i was not trying to go through that like i was like lord let your will be done but um <laughs> like if you're trying to tell me to stay home okay but like could you have told me before we paid the money <laughs> but thank you lord that everything is fine okay so i'm gonna eat dinner now i'll reconvene with you guys 
layer on. Thank God it's negative. <laughs> That's good. How's she doing? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Straightening up the kitchen, so. That's good. Your baby's negative, me. Yay! Yay! Thank the Lord, and you can go on your trip. <laughs> 